hello everyone welcome back to the third tutorial on the questions related to katia v5 v4 so let us start with the first question what is the keep specification in pattern so by checking this option we can have instances same as that of the original and any change made in the original will be observed in the instances so this is the meaning of keep specification in the pattern the next question is explain the significance of options from side and from top in the creating stiffness so there are two types of actually there are two types of stiffeners first one is the from side and second one is the from top the first one is the from side the extrusion is performed in the profile plane and the thickness is added normal to the plane so normal to the plane the thickness is going to add here the second one is the from top the extrusion is performed normal to the profile plane and the thickness is added in the profile plane so in the profile plane the thickness is going to add here so there are two types of stiffness here. the third question is which are the neutral file extensions we can use for the part file so so if you want to open that particular file in another laptop or another version you can or another software you can open that with this neutral file extensions so the first you can save this as a igs file igs or I, igs the initial graphics exchange specification it is a long form of igs the second one is the step that is step or stp the standard for exchange of product model data and this is a long form the next one is the stl you can use the stl that is a stereo lithography and the fourth one is the wrl that is a virtual reality modeling so basically this igs file contain the surface features that is a, it creates a igs with a surface so this is best for surfaces the stp is basically used for the solid data that is for a part data you can use this step file this stl is for a 3d printing so for the 3d printing file you just need to save this file as part file as a dot stl file the next question is what is simplified representation in pattern so by checking this simplified representation we can make the desired objects invisible just by clicking on them so if you don't want that instances you can just click on that it it will be made invisible the next question is what is the difference between merge rebends and the merge ends in rib the first that is a merge rib ends will extend the solid along the center curve up to the solid and the merge ends will extend the solid along the profile end points profile end points to the solid so these are the two differences of merge rib ends and merge ends in rib option the next question is that is application of multi pad what is the application of multi pad so the application of multi pad is to extrude the profiles to different heights we can use it so there are different profiles available in the sketch or single sketch you can and if you want to extrude that profiles with a different heights you just need to use this multi pad command with a simple pad you cannot create that extrude with a such option the next question is how do you create a corner chamfer corner chamfer for a bolt or nut so there is no ready made option available for a corner chamfer in katia so you just need to use a groove option you can you, you can with a using a groove option you can create a corner chamfer for bolt so it just creating a revolving cut the next question is what is what are the limiting elements in multi section solid so if you are selected n number of profiles in a loft or multi section and creating a solid along a spine or through a guide curves 
the limitations are the first and the last profile so up to that last profile from the first profile the multi section element multi section solid going to create the next question is what are the uses of coupling curves and guide curves in loft or multi section the coupling curves are used to get a number of edges on the solid and the guide curves are used to get the shape of the solid so coupling curves used to get the number of edges that is the first point on the first profile just connect to the first profile the second point on the second profile so this is the coupling curves and a guide curves just give the shape to the solid the next question is can you create a hyperbolic fillet in katia if yes how yeah, definitely we can create a hyperbolic fillet in katia we can create that by defining the parameter value above 0.5 that is the roh value we need to provide that should be zero, above 0.5 and less than 1 1.0 that is it should be within 0.5 to 1 for hyperbolic if the parameter is 0.5 it results into parabolic fillet so if rh value is equal to 0.5 it results into a parabolic fillet if the parameter is less than 0.5 and greater than 0.5 that is rh value between 0.5 and 0.00 you will get a elliptical fillet the next question is what is trim ribbons in fillet if the fillet materials are overlapping each other to remove that overlap material trim ribbons are used or it will remove the overlap material in the fillet the next question is what is a circle fillet so due to due to con concave and convexity the fillet on the edges try to close or it will expand to avoid and maintain the parallel on the create on creating a fillet the circle fillet is useful the next question is can you create a sheet metal parts in part design how yes you can create that sheet metal parts in the part design by using a shell option so here the shell will be your last feature to complete the model so similar to the part modeling you just create a model and after that just provide a thickness with the shell command the next question is can you use the symmetry reference as a point or a line yes we can use that reference as a symmetry the next question is is it possible to give a variable distance for features in rectangular pattern yes we can give a variable distance in rectangular pattern select the option instances and unequal spacing then just provide a spacing particular spacing for the features instances the next question is sorry uh, what are the differences between my mirror and symmetry so first we will see mirror the reference will be a plane or any planar surface reference may be a plane point or a line the third one is it will create a duplicate and for a symmetry the original element will be translated to a other side of reference it can be used for a single or multiple features we can use a symmetry the next is the it will consider a current body current solid in a body so these are the differences between mirror and symmetry the next question is what is the difference between sieve surface and a split sieve and split is almost same to split the solid we can use when you are using a sieve surface if there is a error bit if there is a air between the solid and surface it fill it with the solid material and the next question is is there any alternate option for a remove lump so the alternate option for the remove lump is remove faces in the dress of feature that is a remove faces option available in the dress of feature so thank you for watching and please like and subscribe my channel for more videos
थैंक यू